Jamie Schultz was a starter down in the minor leagues for this team and he has transitioned into the bullpen. He's pitched exclusively out of the bullpen in the major leagues with the Rays this year. 30 strikeouts in 28 and a third innings for Schultz. He had a perfect six up, six down the last time he pitched. This is Dwight Smith Jr. as Alex Smith has taken over in center field and Austin Meadows is in right field. Ball on the strike to Smith getting his first plate appearance. A couple of home runs this season. In a home run off Rick Porcello at Fenway Park earlier this year. John Reed Foley will pitch tomorrow night. Tampa Bay has announced who their opener will be. But Reed Foley gets another chance to start. Last time out, he had 10 strikeouts in five innings against the Yankees. Yeah, and just five innings against New York. And maybe two more starts left for him. He's got a lot of energy. He said, you know what? I could throw a lot. He said, I feel great right now. And obviously he's had two 10 strikeout games since he's joined the Blue Jays. Every time the coaches say, hey, how do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> and you go, absolutely, I can go. Yeah. You love that type of attitude, don't you? 3-1 to Smith. Hit in the line, and that's going to get down for a hit and go up against the fence. Smith is headed for second, and Malik Smith boots it. And Dwight Smith Jr. will end up at third. Well, Malik Smith got to it. Ball bounced off the fence, and when he swiped at it with his glove, he knocked it away. And we'll see how they're going to score that one. It's obviously a double. At least a double. That ball was smoked. Get yourself into a good fastball count and time it up with Dwight does. Hits that ball short off the wall in right field. There's the drop right there. Maybe they give him an error on that one. We'll have to see, but Smith's going to end up at third base. Here's the play out in center, and they could certainly charge Malik Smith with an error. It is a double, the seventh double of the season for. Dwight Smith Jr. and he goes to third on the air. Here's Rowdy Telez. Telez got the scoring started. He had a two run home run in the second, his second big league home run. He knows these raised pitchers, doesn't he? He doesn't wait around. Got his first hit. Homered on the first pitch that he saw, his first at bat tonight. That was against Stanek. Stanek had a very good first inning. He served as the opener tonight, 27th time he's done that. And then there was a long delay as the umpires went in to change their equipment. The umpires were late getting their equipment here to the ballpark and they had to make a change. Well, as pulls it foul outside of first. But Stanek gave up a double to Randall Gritchick, a two run home run to Rowdy Telez, and Kevin Pillar gave up a single, so he was out of the game facing three batters in the second. It didn't take long, too, did it? Once he got back out on that mound for that second inning, double home run single. He was out of the game, and Chirinos came in and really settled things down for Tampa. Gritchick and Pilar both getting hits and now get the rest of the game off. Some of the youngsters playing. Velez drops it down the left field line. Got a chance for another double. He's headed for second, and that'll be another extra base hit for Rowdy Velez. Some guys just have a knack for getting hits. You know, you go up there, and a swinging bat is a dangerous bat. And, and told you his first couple of times up tonight, he was swinging at the first pitch. You're not going to get any hits taken. He is swinging. He's ready to swing, even when he gets beat like he does on this fastball, because he's aggressive. Just keeps it fair down the left field line. He's going to drive in another run. 
and have yet another extra base hit. Two extra base hits tonight. He has eight double, two home runs, ten extra base hits in his young career. Kyle Snyder is going to come out the mound and have a chat with Jamie Schultz. Hurry into Home Hardware's kitchen event on now until October 9th. Here's how. The Jays have scored a run here in the ninth. Boy Smith Jr. let it off with a double. He went to third on the air by the center fielder. And now he's knocked in by Rowdy Telez. These two organizations both share. Triple A teams in the International League, so there are a lot of players on both teams that know one another. Florida State League. They, they go at each other from the Florida State League on. Jonathan Davis will get his first plate appearance tonight. He took over defensively in center field for Kevin Pillar. I think their low A ball teams are in the same division too, aren't they? Bluefield and Princeton in the Appalachian League. Bowling Green and Lansing yeah, in, in so. that league also. So you got to figure some of these young kids have faced these opposition a right lot. Up the ladder, yep. Right up the ladder. That's what we're talking about. Play against one another coming up, and now they're all in the big leagues together. Davis fouls it back. David Paulino had a nice inning, tired to side in order in the top half of this inning. Both of those players from the Dominican Republic, so I'm sure they have faced each other growing up. Well, Adamas looks like a good player. Just starting to get comfortable in the big leagues, but he's got a little juice in his bat. Had a big pinch hit RBI base hit early in the game. Foul back. Jonathan Davis has two hits and seven at bats in the big leagues. He has a couple of stolen bases as well. This year in the minor leagues at Triple A Buffalo, he had 249 at 23 stolen bases. Check that. He had seven stolen bases in Triple A Buffalo. Had 19 in Double A. He's got some talent. One of those late bloomers. This is his sixth minor league season. There are the numbers between double A AA and triple A this season at 282. Outside. Like so many of these young Blue Jays players, Jonathan Davis played. For Dennis Holmberg in Bluefield, as you see, Reese McGuire. Three and two, nobody on. He fights it off and stays way. alive. Keep battling. He's already picked up his first two big league hits. His first one was against David Price. Get up there and just keep battling. And tough against Jamie Schultz. This is going to be at least a 10 pitch at bat. He knows he doesn't want to walk him, so he's going to be around the plate. So just be ready to swing. Well, and sure, you sit around as a youngster, a September call up, and when you do get your chance, you want to make the most of it. Hit him. 
So the tenth pitch of the at bat hits Jonathan Davis. He goes to first. Kevin Cash making that call he didn't want to make. Yeah. Wanted to have a nice quiet ninth inning. Now the Blue Jays down by five but they've got a couple of runners on and nobody out. So Reese McGuire will grab a bat and now they got to crank up Sergio Robo. He's probably kicking back thinking well I won't have to pitch tonight. Eight three Tampa Bay. Reese McGuire comes off the bench swinging. McGuire hitting 250 for the season. This is the eighth game he's appeared in. He's got a couple of doubles and an RBI. Breaking ball pulled foul by McGuire. This is the second pinch hitting at bat for Reese McGuire. He's 0 for 1. Telez is at second. Jonathan Davis at first. Rowdy Telez with an RBI double. Telez has a three RBI night. He homered and Hit it up. A three Tampa Bay. Blue Jays aren't going quietly here in the ninth. Breaking ball that gets away, but Velez will hold his ground at second. That curveball hasn't even been close here in the ninth inning. He's thrown 26 pitches, hasn't gotten an out. Reese McGuire gets on. The tying runs on deck. That's why they have Sergio Romo up and probably telling him right now to hey speed it up just a little bit. You might be in the game. Two and two pitch to McGuire. He calls him out. Oh looked like it might have been away but it's a strike three call on McGuire. First out of the inning. McGuire was batting for Ledmus Diaz and now Danny Jansen. Danny has grounded out three times tonight. A slider. He's got a slider and a curveball. Had Tommy John surgery eight years ago. Now he's getting his fastball back. He says he's hit 99 a few times in his career. Ninety-five, but upstairs. One ball, two strikes, one out. Blue Jays. Batting in the bottom of the ninth, Tampa Bay has an 8 3 lead. Slider fouled out of play. Hanging slider, too. And just a little bit late on that one. Andres Moran is moving around a bit just in case. Swing in the drive. This ball is way back. Danny Jensen home run number three. Put the 
Wood on that one. Boy, what great sound coming off that bat. You throw a slider that, like that that just hung up there. He saw one a couple of pitches ago and missed it. That time sped up his bat and he absolutely leveled that pitch. Blue Jays have put up four so far. And here's Sergio Romo. His 69th game of the season. He's 22 for 29 in saves and he started this whole opener thing back on the 19th of May. Boy about 20 minutes ago I bet you he didn't think he was going to be in this ball game. It was eight to two at the time he pitched four straight days on Monday was his fourth straight day. So he's had a couple of days off and now this is a safe situation thanks to Danny Jansen's home run. Jamie Schultz retired just one batter and that was shaky might have been a ball. Arena takes ball two. Things could get interesting if he reaches base. Yeah you've got a home run hitter now on deck if he gets on base a home run threat could tie it up with one swing. Romo not overpowering by any means but boy he's a savvy pitcher got that big sweeping slider he'll change up from time to time. Yeah he's got one of the best sliders I think in baseball he'll throw it a lot to right handers and he'll back door to lefties there it is just 77 miles an hour it's one of those pitches that just continues to break and you can see Rich Kobe talking to Dwight Smith Jr. about that Romo slider. Change up. Romo strikes out Arena. Watch how he grips that thing in, in his hand. Push it way back in his palm. And then throw it as hard as you can. You can't throw a ball like that hard. There it is coming off the fingers. And Urania is a little bit out in front. That was a big out for Romo. Oh, it sure was. Now, Morales bats with nobody on and two outs. Off the plate with the slider. Romo's now 35 years old, facing the veteran Kendris Morales. Morales with 21 homers this season. Deep it's shallow center. Everybody running in. That's going to drop. Morales will hold it first. I mean, he hit it right in the Bermuda Triangle. They were playing deep. That's not the tying run at the plate. And the center fielder Malik Smith did not get a good read on it. You can see him saying, hey, "I didn't see it. I didn't get a good read." Watch him out in center field. The big swing by Morales fools him. And now everybody trying to run this ball down. It's going to fall for a single. And the blue chase just like that bring the tying run to the plate. So Morales out of the game. He gets a pinch hit single with two outs. Teoscar Hernandez takes over as a pinch runner at first base. Four runs in here in the bottom of the ninth. It's an 8-6 game. Gordon Scurriel Jr. is 0 for 4 so far. Swing and a high fly ball. Get up, ball. Get up, ball. Get out of here. Yeah. It's a tie game. Team a chance, and the Blue Jays, who hit more home runs than anybody late in the game, use the home run to get back into this game and tie it up. You made a great point about Romo sitting down there watching the start of this inning, thinking, I got the night off. He had worked four in a row. Kyle Snyder 
the pitching coach out. How about Guriel? It's almost like he was sitting on a breaking ball, got it on the inner half. And a long, majestic home run down the left field line. Tommy Fan could just sit there, and all he can do is sit there and watch. Guriel, the eighth Blue Jay to bat here in the ninth inning, and he ties it up with a two run home run. Danny Jansen hit a three run homer, and look at the joy in that dugout. Smoke hits it, get out of here! This ball is up and out! Not describe it. Smoke's been known to do that. His second walk-off home run of the season, the fifth for the Blue Jays. The eighth time they have gone back-to-back -back with home runs this season. And the Rays are shell-shocked. I'm shell-shocked. Eight to two heading into the bottom of the ninth inning. Blue Jays not even sniffing a hit for a few innings. Score seven to steal a win from the Rays. Looked like an off speed pitch. Yeah, change up out over the plate. Smokey recognizes it, and he's got that beautiful home run cut from the left side. It's down where he likes it. He just lifts that thing right out of here. Three home runs in the inning, and look at Guriel. <laughs> he knows it's gone immediately. And so does he. Justin Smoke, his second walk-off home run of the season, caps off a seven-run bottom of the ninth. Danny Jansen with a three-run home run. Lourdes Gurriel with a two-run home run. And Justin Smoke, with his 25th home run of the season, has walked off the Rays.